What is good, Cardano fam, Ada gang. We have so many updates to uncover in this video. Martin Lawrence, tokenized silver, massive petroleum company partnership with Cardano Foundation and more. So hit that subscribe, hit that like. Ada Dex trading volume surpasses 35 million Ada this week. Martin Lawrence says Cardano logo is fuego and we agree. And big shout out to Martin for using the angry crypto thumbnail in his tweet. Grew up watching so much Martin Lawrence, the Black Knight, National Security. He's a comical genius. A reminder, guys, that Cardano uptime nearly seven years with zero outage. Kind of important. <laughs> kind of important. So there's a giveaway also by Orcfax. Now, none of my videos are sponsored. I just like to take a look on X, see all the Fuego news. But there's a giveaway running until Tuesday, it looks like. So five lucky winners. Orcfax, we discovered them first with Strike Finance. They're doing a bunch of decentralized Oracle stuff. So you can check this out. Everything is linked below. Very simple giveaway, a follow and a retweet. And then they'll announce five lucky winners chosen this Tuesday. Ada whales are starting to wake up. So there's been a surge in big transaction. An on-chain analytical platform labels large transactions as those exceeding $100,000 this means the volume of transactions above 100K increased to 17.78 billion within a day. So there's been a surge in ADA whale transactions. What do they know that we don't? You know what I'm saying? Well done, Mike. Now, you guys probably know Mike, Mike Alfred. He's kind of a Bitcoin maxi, last I recall. Uh, but apparently the current administration reached out to him about participating in a round table and strategy session about Bitcoin and crypto. And he politely responded that he would only join after Gary Gensler is fired and the political crusade against Bitcoin is over. So kind of based, kind of he, he earned a new follow from me uh, with that tweet. New PFP. Snack.fun is around the corner. Pig.party is getting some updates that should be live today to improve their uh, UX and whatnot. But wow. Snack.fun, this branding, the more they tease, the more I'm just highly anticipating this. The artwork that they do is so good. And already I'm just excited. This new PFP, this new banner. The website is still says coming soon, but I'm so stoked to see this pumped out fun alternative uh, by Snack and Splash. I think it's going to be great. So regarding that petroleum company, this is kind of low key. It's underrated. And when I asked GPT-4, it didn't give much else alluding to the partnership. But there's a big valuation with the company involved. So of course, over in Brazil, yesterday marked the final day of an incredible event in Brazil where Cardano Foundation has made significant strides to their mission. Here's a recap of their involvement and some of the announcements that they made. So one of them was this Petrobras up Cardano Blockchain Academy exclusively for Petrobras employees. And we see partnership in this graphic by them was officially revealed on stage at Blockchain Rio. This marks a huge step in their mission to promote customizable blockchain education opportunities for enterprises worldwide. Available to 40,000 plus employees, white labeled learning engine, translated content and platform, I really like this because over on Wikipedia, we can see it's a massive company. This company was ranked 71 in the Fortune 500 list. So big company. We're talking billions. We're talking thousands of employees. So very big things. Very big things. Net income, 36.62 billion two years ago. So over 45,000 employees. Uh, very big to say the least. So a lot of Collaboration there, you, you might see this as small, but it's still important. In further collaboration with Petrobras, they're launching 500 unique NFTs for the employees. The NFTs will change color as employees progress through the Academy courses, making their learning experience in the Cardano Academy both fun and rewarding. I love that. Also announced the White Label Cardano Academy, part of their initiative to provide customizable education solutions. They're excited to see how this will empower more organizations to educate their teams about blockchain technology. I think it's good to kind of gamify it and to involve NFTs. Why not? I think it adds a level of exclusivity and progression and makes it more interesting because e-learning is always boring when it comes to companies. And here we see there, master the fundamentals, explore evolving use cases, empower executives, equip engineers and developers to build on Cardano. Why not? 
It's all welcome. And I got to say, Petro Bras, I didn't even know much about them, but just a little bit of research. Been around for a long time, 70 plus years, and lots of money involved in energy. Why not? The altcoin oracle, the Chang hard fork is making ADA a commodity. And speak, speaking of commodity, we'll jump into tokenized silver in a moment. We know that the CFTC has said 70 to 80% of crypto is not a security. On top of that, the CFTC was ready to release and, and take responsibility away from the SEC. We see how the uh, competition in this election, most people don't like Gensler. And at the same time, Cardano is being set up to be the ultimate like alternative to Bitcoin burning of the Genesis keys, handing over of the treasury. It's going to be set up to be a great commodity. You are buying the ultimate real world assets proxy, I believe for years to come, but you're also buying an indestructible VC fund for all tech themes. It looks like Bitcoin. It smells like oil. It moves like light and it settles forever. Very nice. Very, very good. I agree. Lucid says, I've been trying to keep this to myself because I know how valuable this data is, but ADA has the best tokenomics in the digital asset marketplace. 45 billion hard capped, deflationary emission rate, 90% supplies with retail, widest distribution rate. These are important. Good distribution, good grassroots. These are very key. Leading with the gold standard CRI going into MICA compliance. These are important. Having a good Nakamoto coefficient. These are important because it sets up a network effect that you can't just pay to play and just speed run through it. And I love that example that Charles gave over at the uh, presentation in Brazil that when Microsoft tried to just pay to play and compete with Google with Bing, it didn't work. It just didn't work, right? People are now using more Microsoft products, but Bing, like when we go back 10, 15 years ago, was just a meme. C-Swap. So let's talk about this silver action. Newsflash. Silver now tradable on Cardano. The first C-Swap RWA is live on C-Swap market. Only 80 silver coins available, so act fast. So let's take a look at this, guys. There's a Medium article. The vision of C-Swap has always been to unify the fungible and the non-fungible realms to serve as a hybrid DEX that encompasses both non-fungible tokens and fungible tokens. Prior to the launch of C-Swap's fungible DEX, we believe it is crucial to first showcase the remarkable potential of NFTs. What sets NFTs apart from FTs is that each asset represented by an NFT can be uniquely defined and possess special characteristics that make it one of a kind. This unique nature of NFTs also allows for a multitude of real world use cases, including collectible safe haven assets, in this case, American Silver Eagles, we'll take a look at that shortly, secure tan tangible assets that can retain value over time, digital collectibles like Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, etc. unique digital items that can be traded or sold, deeds, certificates of authenticity, legal documents and proofs of ownership that can be securely stored and transferred, right? Often people just think JPEGs, apes. Medical records, that's one thing that excites me. Personal health information that can be securely accessed and managed. And here they've linked a certificate of ownership. Everything's linked below if you guys wanna check it out for yourselves. Launching American Silver Eagles on CSWAP. They are taking their platform to the next level with the release of American Silver Eagles, widely popular collectible coins produced by the US, mints that are above 99.9% .9 silver and uncirculated. These safe haven assets are authenticated, securely bank vaulted and insured. Collectors will be able to buy, sell and add liquidity for Silver Eagles on a new section of C-Swap market dedicated to RWAs. The DEX functionality of C-Swap for RWAs will unlock new financial opportunities for collectors and traders alike on Cardano, demonstrating the transformative power of NFTs. For example, users can add RWA slash ADA pairing liquidity to their own liquidity pool and earn fees from trading activity, or they can take advantage of dynamic pricing of silver relative to ADA. American Silver Eagles, along with other precious metals and small form factor collectibles such as Pokemon cards, stamps, will serve as a proof of concept for RWAs on C-Swap. This initiative paves the way for future expansions of RWAs on Cardano, bringing new classes of assets with concrete and well-established value to the blockchain. It showcases the transformative potential of integrating traditional assets 
with advanced blockchain. Very cool. I like silver. Why not? And we see here kind of the insurance, authentication, uh, where it is stored. And I think they have like a threshold. I saw some of the tweets of like, what about like claiming it and getting the physical? So there's some, some threshold, but they have answers to all the general questions that you would expect. So pretty cool. I like this. Recently we saw gold and I'm excited to check out the other project, Timons, that's doing like the diamond stuff. Congrats to Harriet for launching the first pig dot party meme to 1 million ADA market cap. Pig party beta V2 will launch today uh, with a ton of updates that make the platform infinitely smoother. And I remember Avatar Nick on the space a couple days ago said instant market making, saying that they were tightening the slippages, making the experience a lot faster and instant. So very excited. And that's great to see that projects are actually hitting their uh, bonding curve and it's working as intended. That's great. Melon says new loan chart in action. You can see which loans and how much selling pressure is coming to the tokens to predict volatility and price shifts. Very good. Why not? Welcome. Bitcoin and Solana are in polar opposites. Only one will work, win long term. Now take this with a grain of salt because I feel uh, a little divided about this on like high decentralization. But I like this hearing from someone else. Polkadot and Cardano are also on the winner side. Scalability without decentralization is worthless. So forget the chart for a moment. But Cardano on the winner side and that scalability without being decentralized, it is. It is going to be worthless. Decentralization compliance is clearly one of the most important things going into this bull peak. In just three days, Cardano Chang hard fork node reporting version 9.1 outpaced 9.0 to 34%. So we're getting closer and closer, guys, to Chang hard fork. I'm very excited for that, for governance, for hyperscalability. Um, what are you guys most excited for, for Cardano? Any projects, anything, any certain milestones? If you dare to think about something as big as the adoption of blockchain by governments to build new infrastructure, you will realize that decentralization is the most important thing. Each ADA holder owns a piece of Cardano with the right to decide. I like this post. Speaking of decentralization, open source. Honored to share the stage with Charles Hoskinson, co-founder of Ethereum, founder of Cardano, and CEO at IOHK, Sofia Lopez, very nice. And we also have Daniela, Barbosa, GM of the Linux Foundation. And the reason why I love this is that we saw recently Linux Foundation giving credit to the work Cardano has done in governance. It's tough to get that right. And so I love these discussions around open source decentralization. There's a lot of overlap. There's a lot of common interests. And I'm just so excited to see how Cardano is laying down the blueprint for other projects to emulate and, and to replicate it. I've been talking to several participants of ICON intensive course at UTN in Argentina, and they have all told me that it was spectacular. Today, Cardano has more developers than two weeks ago. This idea should be replicated worldwide. Impressive what you have done. And this is great, guys. I think what's being done at UTN is great. And we also saw in the event in Berlin, a lot of Solana guys are realizing like, whoa, like a lot of people are actually attending these Cardano events and optimism is pouring in. I'm very excited to see even Solana fam are becoming more optimistic that Cardano is a place to build that's fuego, that is, has incentives, has a community. I love it. And speaking of community, I remember hearing uh, Bikram a couple days ago in a space, give feedback to pig dot party and that that feedback was well received. Avatar Nick, good exchange back and forth. And he says, from an outsider's perspective, the Cardano community is the best in the crypto world. These people are amazing. Sometimes they fight and engage in heated debates, asking questions to Charles Hoskinson frequently. But at the end of the day, they all come together united. This is what blockchain is all about. Don't ever change, guys. And it's just great to hear that. Because without community, without movement of money, it's, it's really nothing. Money needs to be moved. And money is defined by that value when people use it. If people don't use it, then it's what use is it really? At the end of the day, guys, we all want price to go up, right? When price go up, can devs do something? As Hard Rock Nick would say. And sometimes 
the strategy is just inaction. If we think about last cycle, right? How many times people were day trading Do Doge and all they had to do was just wait for Elon to tweet it and that would dwarf all their day trading, swing trading profits. And the case with Cardano is that alt season is not here yet. Bitcoin dominance continues to climb upwards of 57%. And in both times when we reached our all-time high, which were once here up in September in 2021, and also towards the new year of January 2018, in both occasions, Bitcoin dominance was around 40%, very low, at like an ATL. Therefore, we can conclude that with Bitcoin dominance still high, it might go higher and higher. We need Bitcoin dominance to plunge. We need Bitcoin global search to rise. And I think that we're going to reach that in the months that are ahead. For now, guys, I think that we're still going to experience a sideways jitter. That's what I like to call it. And we might go up to 50 cents, 60 cents. We may even come down to like 24, 25, 30 cents. I will continue to accumulate when in those ranges of 24 cents to 39 cents. My last time I accumulated, as you guys know, was around 36 cents around these le levels here. Since then, I haven't accumulated more. I only bought sometime in June. But if we hit those prices, those low Black Friday special prices, I will accumulate more. For me, guys, this is the last season before the ultra pump. Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin global search uh, via Google Trends shows us that the bull peaks are not here yet. Ironically, there's a lot of people who think that the bull is over. They think that it's done and they think that we're headed to zero with so many projects. But simply just look at the line. Look at Bitcoin dominance, BTC D charts. Look at Google Trends and search Bitcoin and take a look you'll see that everything's pointing to us uh, with more upside potential. We also have to be mindful that there's a lot of capital sitting around and perception. The 60K Bitcoin of today is not the 60K Bitcoin of three years ago. So guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I did put a poll out to ask, do you think that a USA Cardano ETF will come out this year? Surprisingly, you guys are very optimistic on that happening. So let me know what you guys think about price point. I think we'll smash through the, through the previous all-time high, but it's going to take until at least Q1 of 2025. That's what I think about timeline, all-time high. And in terms of ETF, I think the ETF could come, but I think we may see more like Solana XRP ETFs before we see a USA uh, Cardano ETF. But in full disclosure, of course, there are those amazing ETPs, Swiss ETP, German ETP. So ETF is nothing new for Cardano, but a USA-centric ETF, I think, would do a, a beautiful job to build the narrative of Cardano and bring more eyes in terms of like American sentiment. So let me know your thoughts, guys. I'm very optimistic. A lot of amazing things happening. Everything's linked below. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. I'll see you guys in the next Angry Crypto Show.